Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Wi-Fi is not working with MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 MT7925 wireless adapter on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt tab, and then make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all the commands one by one and then paste it over here and then hit the enter key. Now run the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now run the third command. Now once you run all the command, restart your computer. And after the system restart, uh, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. So shut down your computer. And once you shut down, uh, shut down your computer, unplug the power cable for maybe one to two minutes. And then turn off the Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few seconds. Then restart the Wi-Fi router. And then connect the cable, uh, power cable back to the computer. And then restart your computer. And then check still not working the next step is to disable or enable network adapter now for this make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager now once device manage, uh, manager is open expand network adapter find network adapter and then click on this arrow over here and expand network adapter now once you expand network adapter in my case it's a wi-fi 6 ax201 in your case you will see mediatek wi-fi 7 mt7925 so if you see yellow triangle over here or any if you're facing any kind of error like 43 39 10 error code 10 in device manager just ignore those error just make a right click on the wi-fi adapter over here and then click on disable device and then click on yes and then you have to make a right click on your mediatek wi-fi adapter this is just an example make a right click and then click on enable device and once this is done now you can connect to your network over here connect to your network and then check still not working the next step is to start wlan auto config service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find WLAN auto config over here. This is the service. Now make a double click on this WLAN auto config and then set startup type to automatic and then hit apply. Click on start if highlighted. So if start is highlighted, click on start. If once done, now make a right click on this and then click on if you see start, click on start or if you see if you see start highlighted click on start or you can click on restart and once this is done now again you can click on the wi-fi icon and it should connect automatically or you can connect it and then check still not working now the next step is next step is to perform network reset now to perform network reset before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because after you perform the network reset when you try to connect to your wi-fi it will be asking for your network password so make sure that you have a password and then you can go for reset so open windows settings go to network and internet over here and then scroll down go to advanced network settings over here and then here you can see network reset option click on it and then click on reset now click on yes to allow and once the reset is done uh, during the reset your system will restart and then system may restart and then after the system restart you can connect to your Wi-Fi. It will be asking for your password. Enter the password and then connect. Next step is to reinstall network adapter. This time also make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Now for this you can make a right click on the start menu and then open device manager once again. And once device manager is open, expand network adapter and you will see your MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 MT7925 over here. I'm showing you a different adapter. This is just an example. Make a right click and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall over here. Do not, for now, do not put a check over here. 
because you might get rid of uh, the driver so it might not reconnect so we will just click on uninstall now once the uninstall is complete you have to restart again here restart is a must after this I, and after the system restart and let me restart my computer first now after the system restart again make a right on the start menu and then go to device manager and once device manager is open now expand network adapter once again and over here you will see your mediatek 7925 adapter and then make a right click and then uh, yeah after the system restart you will see your adapter over here and there should not be any kind of error and then now you can try to connect now this time when you try to connect as i told you it will be asking for your password so enter your password over here and once you enter the password you should be connected now still not working in that case the next step is to install wireless driver from your system manufacturer website now i understand you don't have the uh, internet right now internet is not working right now so in that case you can connect ethernet cable and go online now in case if you don't have ethernet cable or your computer does not have a ethernet port in that case you can use another computer which has the internet and download the wireless and driver to the usb flash drive or hard drive to the external storage device and then use that usb flash drive or hard drive to install the wireless driver on the computer which does not have an internet right now now for this uh, let me show you this is just an example uh, you can go to uh, your system manufacturer website i'm showing with dell uh, for dell now if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so this is just an example i'm showing you with dell computer now go to select your model number you can enter your service tag serial number your model number or you can simply uh, try to select your uh, computer over here make sure that you select your computer this is just an example now once you select your computer now it will take you to your system page now you can go to drivers and downloads this is just an example you can go to your system manufacturer website and do the same thing now you can find the driver select your operating system make sure that whichever operating system you are using you have to select your operating system then you can uh, find your network uh, driver here you can see mediatek mt7925 wi-fi driver now you can click on download and once you download it you can go to the download location so let me download it once again and then you can go to the download location once you go to the download location copy this file you can copy it or you can cut cut it and then you can go to the um, usb flash drive or hard drive whatever you have connected to the computer and then you can transfer the file over here once it is transferred now you can uh, connect you can eject your flash drive from the working computer eject it and then you can connect this flash drive to the computer which is not uh, on which the internet is not working then you can open flash drive and then you, you can make a double click and then you can install this driver on your computer and then you can restart your computer and then try to connect now the last step is to reset your computer if nothing is working you can reset your computer but reset may result in data loss and your application your data will be lost so create a backup first before you perform reset to perform a reset you can go to windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option over here you can see reset pc option click on reset pc and over here choose an option you can see keep my files this will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files application and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall and after the reinstall you have to set up your computer once again and then you have to start everything from scratch and then uh, you can log in and then uh, maybe during the setup it will be asking you to enter uh, select your network and enter the password so you can do that and then once uh, you are logged in you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you 
to get the Wi-Fi working on your computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.